Hey everyone, it's Josh with Grassy Outdoor Work. Uh, sorry for the noise, but we had some uh, limbs fall down from this past snow that we had. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them cleaned up and uh, shut my trap and let you guys watch some grassroot outdoor work. Say hello, Leo. You can't have this stick, buddy. No. No, thanks for helping, bud.
I took this Bradford pear out uh, this summer, late late summer, probably August time frame. Um, and I let it lay over here, wanted it to die off. I'm gonna take it off the stump now, off the root ball, and uh, get the Wood Max 8800 a good little workout.
So on the back of this chipper, um, these edges right here are uh, just machined edges. They're not rolled like, I wish they were rolled like this, like this edge here. Um, <clears throat> but what it ends up doing is uh, it'll actually shave off some of the small branches like these pieces here that you get, they get caught on the edge and it just kind of plunk, plucks it right in. The other thing, uh, I don't know how to make this change to it. Um, I might try and just roll this edge some with, uh, with the grinder. I don't know if I can soften it up some. Um, just kind of take some of this shape off. Probably use a sander on it, it would be a little bit easier. Or I might um, get some rubber edging and uh, epoxy it on here or my other thought is to get a piece of round stock and uh, cut a notch in the round stock that's you know this 3 16 wide or eighth inch wide or whatever it is um, and weld a piece of round stock to the top edge of this just kind of bend it to it so that branches don't get hung up on it and i tell you what i have cut my fingers i've cut my hand on it like here on the edge of this because it's just it's just sharp um but that's that's my one thing the other thing i'd like to be able to do since this chute is offset where this runs into this and the uh feed tube the out feed is right here i want to see I run this straight back like that right right towards the back if I can offset a little trailer and mount a small hitch to the bottom down here so that I could pull a trailer drop it stand on this side put the branch in and you know get a feed or so I gotta figure something out I can't keep making all these random piles everywhere it's kind of frustrating but uh, I could use the side-by-side -side, you know and, and get a small trailer for the side-by-side -side. Um, I could use the side-by-side -side and you know pull the side-by-side -side with a uh, with a utility trailer around um, but I, it's, it's just me I don't have a helper that I could just throw in the side by side follow me along get a utility trailer spray all the, the chippings into it and create one pile otherwise you're just driving around the woods and, and making these piles everywhere and I don't know if anybody's got an option if anybody has an idea it's just something that kind of I'm trying to figure out um, how to do this best um, you know, it takes too long to set the machine somewhere and chip, then disconnect it, go out in the woods, grab what I need to grab, you know, use the machine or whatever else. If I was working in one steady location, it would be a little bit easier. I'd set the tractor up at, you know, one spot and use the side-by-side -side to... You know log everything out basically brush everything out pull all the brush piles to the machine to the, the chipper chip it all that would work but I don't have a way to get this tractor and the side-by-side -side in one trip to any job site that I go to um, you know I've got a 20-foot deck over trailer it's got a four-foot dovetail <clears throat> I, I just can't fit everything um, Plus, driving this in the woods, I'll show you here how wide it is. Driving this driving this in the woods, you've added at least, I'd say, you know, six feet, six, seven feet to the back of the tractor from, you know, the rear of the tires or the, or the rear of the three-point hitch system where it mounts back to the to the chute over here it's just a lot of space and you run out of turning radius um so yeah but you know it's it's, it's what i got it's what i'm using 
it's working for me as best as I can but we're gonna try and make some adjustments to it but anyway I can say that about wraps it up for the day I'm gonna get out of here uh, I've got some grassroots inside work to do uh, working on the uh, garage insulating it slowly um, I've got some other stuff out and around and about that I do need to cut but the uh, 194 is a great saw but it's not a felling saw it's not comfortable for me to fell with um, I like the 362 that I have but this little 194 is a great pop it in the side by side throw it in the back of the tractor on the bracket there it's light it's easy it's maneuverable you can get through the brush of the briars I uh, I like this little saw.